In this video, experts from Little Beaver, the premier manufacturer of earth drills and augers, take an in-depth look at the throttle. First, note that in 2002, Honda upgraded the throttle assemblies on all its engines to the direct bracketless throttle assembly. All Honda engines manufactured prior to 2002 can be upgraded. Start by removing all of the black plastic ties that hold the wire loom and throttle cable to the flex shaft. Next, remove the air cleaner and old cable. Starting at the engine end, slide the new throttle cable housing through the wire loom toward the handle. Once the new cable housing is through, wrap around the flex shaft two times. Insert it into the spool and tighten the set screw. Insert the cable housing at the engine end into the clamp and tighten. Attach the steel end into the outside hole on the throttle arm at the engine. Insert the steel cable starting at the engine end and push it all the way through until it comes out at the handle. Attach the cable on the plastic throttle lever by wrapping it around the bolt between the washer and the lever. Pull excess slack without moving the throttle arm on the engine. Tighten the nut to secure the cable. Pull the throttle lever and check to make sure you have full throttle. Reinstall the air cleaner. Next, reattach the wire loom to the clutch bracket with a single plastic zip tie. Use three to four zip ties along the flex shaft so it does not hang away from the shaft. Test the operation of the throttle lever. It should pull smoothly and freely with no binding. Inspect the throttle cable and throttle bracket assembly. If necessary, adjust the throttle wire so there is minimal slack at the idle position. Make sure the clip moves smoothly over the rivet head when the throttle is fully engaged. For more information or questions about your Little Beaver Earth Drill, or to check out additional service videos, visit www.littlebeaver.com.